Today, basically all motors are electromagnetic, but that might be changing. The age-old principles of static electricity are being explored again, marking a shift in the very physics that power electric motors. With the supply of rare earth magnets being increasingly complex, the ability to sidestep the use of magnets and instead rely on electrostatic forces is looking like an increasingly attractive idea. But there are reasons this hasn't been done before, so let's see how C-Motive Technologies are aiming to tackle this. I'm Ryan Innes, and this is a Xerox Deep Dive. This new device could be the answer for highly efficient motors that don't cost the Earth. So to get to the bottom of how it works, I've read through their papers and chatted with the team, providing you with all the best bits. I respect your time, so we'll get straight into the inspiration for this, how it works, and how it's getting on in the real world. Conventional electromagnetic motors generally pass an electrical current through copper windings. This current generates magnetic fields, which have forces that are used to turn a rotor. The rotor will generally have permanent magnets on it that are pushed and pulled around by the magnetic fields in the windings. This process typically uses relatively low voltage and high current. Electrostatic motors, on the other hand, were actually demonstrated much earlier by Benjamin Franklin and Andrew Gordon around 1740. These electrostatic motors generate motion through the attraction and repulsion of high voltage electric charges. These instead use relatively low current but high voltages making them notoriously hard to handle. With no suitable insulating material to stop shocks and breakdowns, the far more practical electromagnetic motors quickly took over. Because let's be honest, no one wants their industrial motor to occasionally turn into a personal lightning bolt. Today, every industry uses them. We need them for just about everything, from vehicles to home appliances. But there are still problems. Many high-performance electromagnetic motors rely on critical materials like copper and rare earth magnets. These materials have huge price volatility, vulnerable supply chains, and possible environmental impacts, which is why engineers globally are looking for innovative solutions. Another problem is energy loss, or inefficiencies, which are part of doing business for motor technologies, but they can always be reduced. High currents and moving magnetic fields in conventional motors create a lot of heat, which wastes energy that we want to be using for movement instead. Most conventional electromagnetic motors also use gearboxes for boosting the torque, meaning more heat is generated through friction. It is possible to remove these gearboxes for conventional motors, but to reach the higher torques you need for some applications, you have to increase the current or change the motor design, which both generally increase losses anyway. C-Motive, which is the startup spun out of PhD research, has a different idea though. Using electrostatic principles, it can increase torque by increasing voltage instead of current, which therefore doesn't have the same inherent inefficiencies. Historically, electromagnetic motors have been confined to tiny micro-electromechanical systems. But C-Motive's motor is much bigger than this. It brings electrostatic technology to the industrial world, targeting the torque market, where applications need lower speeds and higher torques, like industrial conveyor belts. If we look at conventional electric motors, they're split into the rotating rotor and the stationary stator. And so is this electrostatic motor, but it looks a little different. If we peel away the layers of the electrostatic motor, instead of copper windings and heavy magnetic components, we find a series of thin, flat electrodes, or plates. These plates are energised with high voltages, and the resulting electrical fields generate electrostatic forces. Half of the plates remain stationary and become the stator, which is fed with an alternating current to provide a rotating force, and the other half are attached to the output shaft and spin around. These rotating ones used to require direct current, fed via slip rings at the back of the motor, though recent designs now use alternating current here too. As the charged plates interact, the rotor is pulled around, producing torque and rotation. 
There are 13 of these plates in total, spaced less than a credit card's width apart. And if we focus in on them, you can see the copper. Instead of normal windings, these are actually printed on as printed circuit boards. This means 90% less copper is used, and there is also no electrical steel. And, of course, no permanent magnets. This all sounds good, but dealing with extremely high voltages in electrostatic motors has always been a problem. However, there is a solution. So let's look at the solution to that, and if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. It's free and helps the channel a lot. In early electrostatic motors, there was just air in the gaps between the rotor and stator. This air acted as an insulator, allowing electric charge to build up and create the electrostatic forces that generate motion. But this is a problem when you're working with extremely high voltages, because the air in between the plates can only withstand a certain voltage before it starts to break down in a process called dielectric breakdown. And this is bad as it's when sparks start to fly. This is where another of C-Motive's core innovations come in, replacing the air with their secret source, a proprietary dielectric fluid that can handle high voltages around 4,000 volts. This liquid not only serves as a superior insulator, enabling the high voltages necessary for practical torque output, but it also helps dissipate heat more effectively than air, contributing to the motor's ability to run cooler and improves its lifespan. Whilst the exact composition remains highly guarded, C-Motive says their fluid is safe, non-toxic, and sourced from commodity chemicals. Having such high voltages also causes problems when trying to find the power electronics used to control the motors. However, advancements in power electronics recently and more broadly have resolved many of these issues. These innovations contribute to a highly adaptable platform, enabling a modular design. C-Motive says they're capable of replacing 0.5 to 3 horsepower geared motors, but in theory, they could be scaled up considerably. Though they prefer to talk more about torque than power, as it's torque-dependent applications that they're going after. Built from readily available materials like standard PCBs, recycled aluminium, polymers and commodity fluids, the system aims to minimise its impact and rely on secure supply chains. I've spoken a lot about the improved efficiencies that these electrostatic motors can offer due to their lower currents and lack of gearboxes. However, what are the real world figures actually showing us? In terms of hard numbers, they quoted an improvement from 65% efficiency to around 90% efficiency for use in industrial conveyor belts. Now, 65% efficiency is very low for an electric motor, so I pushed back on this, and they explained that this value comes from the combined efficiency of a number of factors, including the gearbox and the suboptimal usage of traditional motors for things like their speed. For traditional motors, operating costs make up the majority of the lifetime cost of a motor, and that is in the form of electricity. So if C-Motive's system can be more efficient and save a lot of this electricity, it promises to offer huge cost reductions over the lifetime of the motor. C-Motive has even quantified the savings. They compared traditional motors with their energy-wasting gearboxes to their own motors, and say that savings could be up to $1,400 in energy costs every year for each of the two horsepower motors. And with millions of these workhorses out there, it's a significant cost reduction. When I spoke to C-Motive, they had results showing $60,000 of annual savings in electricity for a stationary industrial application. When including HVAC, labor, downtime, and inventory, the saving was closer to $180,000. They told me about how their electrostatic motor platform ran on a conveyor at a brewery for up to 12 hours a day, five days a week, for two months, with zero downtime or reported issues. The average temperature during the operation was 30 to 34 degrees Celsius and 24 overnight with the client achieving 30% energy savings compared to the previously installed motor. These results and comparisons are extremely impressive. However, I would like to see a comparison between it and some of the most state-of-the-art motors available, 
because I think maybe some of the newer designs like axial flux motors could be hot on the heels of C-Motive's solution. But they are probably also much less innovative. I mean, this is literally reworking the underlying principles of motor technology. There was also a partnership announced with a prominent automotive company, but when I spoke to C-Motive, they said that they were now instead focusing on stationary industrial applications like conveyor belts. This laser focus will probably serve them well as they find the best place for their motors to operate. The motors are also nearly silent and can be fully submerged in water, so that will definitely open up some options for them too. Nearly three centuries after Benjamin Franklin's groundbreaking work, electrostatic motors are poised to rival magnetic ones in some important and real-world applications. This technology offers precise, clean, and ruthlessly efficient power, rebooting the core mechanics of motion. Now, designing and manufacturing breakthrough systems like this takes a lot of precise modeling for simulations and machining, which is why engineers use computer-aided design software like the product from Onshape who made this video possible. If you are an engineer, tinkerer, or part of a business looking for an incredible computer-aided design solution, then you need to check out Onshape, a professional-grade CAD and product data management system designed to revolutionize how you design and manage your products. Imagine secure, real-time collaboration, multiple people working on the same design at once. No more crashes, no lost data, and no need for an IT team. Onshape tracks every change automatically with infinite restore capabilities, and its branching and merging features, similar to Git, make merging complex designs effortless. Plus, it runs on any device, from computers to tablets, so you can work anywhere, anytime. For you viewers in the US, Onshape just launched Onshape Government, a version specifically tailored for companies needing regulatory compliance, like ITAR and EAR. And unlike traditional CAD software, Onshape is built entirely in the cloud, accessible directly from your browser, meaning no matter who you are, you can get set up in minutes. Sign up for Onshape today and get up to six months of the professional version for free at onshape.pro slash Xeroth.